with hundreds of... 4.30 a.m. At a time when most of us are asleep, Rodney Cook is getting paid to dress up and play make-believe. It's a perfect job for a 32-year-old who admits he's... He's never grown up. <laughs> Just like a little boy, isn't it, playing cowboys and Indians, but um, I think I'm a fairy today. Rodney used to love dressing up as Zorro and Batman, but he never ever dreamt he'd be making a career out of playing bronzed action heroes 29 years later. I actually never even thought about being a stuntman. I didn't think it was a, a job you could actually attain to. It's like, you know, being an astronaut, isn't it, really, in, in New Zealand? But um, it's one of those things where you... Um, you know, when you, when you first leave school, you don't know what you want to do. God. And I guess I just fell into it, literally. <laughs> Fell into it is right. He started a rap jumping business off the edge of the Nobatel Hotel in central Auckland. Hurling himself from great heights landed him a job on a commercial. And then he was thrown into being a full-time stuntman. But his first day on the job was a bit on the nose. It's quite funny, the first uh, training um, I went to, I knocked this guy's nose out of place. Because so. <laughs> you learn how to, um, uh, to, to fight with uh, death. So for example, if you, you don't get too close to that, Act and all that sort of thing. You don't want to hit a, an actor's nose out of place, but the guy stepped right into my punch and oh, God, I broke his nose. <laughs> so that was a, that was a, an interesting start, but it made me get noticed. <laughs> breaking a nose didn't stop Rodney breaking into a prime job in the stunt scene, the American TV series Xena and Hercules, being shot in New Zealand. That was five years ago, and Rodney's been throwing himself around in various disguises ever since. It's actually grown extraordinarily fast in the last couple of years because of um, certain movies like Lord of the Rings has, has happened. And um, when I first started, there was only around about six or ten, ten stunt guys that were working full time. And then um, I was like, like the second generation of wave of new guys that came in. And um, the team moved to about 30. And uh, now there's something like 50, 50 in Auckland and another another 50 in Wellington. Turn around one way the nose of it. Yeah, turn the other way. Yeah, the I'm just, just going to check safety of this road because this guy here, he's our rigger. I'll just make sure he's not using dodgy rope and all that. It's all good. Got complete faith in this guy. Rodney's next assignment is to play a swashbuckling fairy. He has to fly 20 metres through the air, suspended by a thin guide wire. We, we try and make it as, as, as safe as possible. Um, sure, things could always go wrong, and that's the reason why they pay you um, to be a stunt person. Um, but, but, you know, 99% of the time it's very safe. Uh, because we try and make it that way, you know. If it's, a, if it's an unsafe stunt, then you shouldn't really be doing it. He might be taking the falls for the stars, but his stunt coordinator thinks Rodney has got star quality himself. The good thing about it for Rodney is he's a, good, he's a good actor, he's a good facial actor. And that's part of it as well, like 90% is um, selling everything, and he's got a great way of selling hits. And not only that, he can take some hard falls, and he can put his body in a place where it, it, it looks hard, but it's not, you know, can, can help himself. So he's, he's actually a good all around it. You need energy. When you're on a camera, you need 110% energy, 120% energy, and he's got it. When you're filming, there's a lot of downtime, so you've actually got to be ready to, to do your stuff because time is money. And with someone like Rodney, who, you know, he asks a lot of questions and he wants to get it right, and that's what it's all about. Getting your timing right, um, knowing what the director wants, uh, coordinating with, with the stunt coordinator and um, the cameraman, so it's all captured. But the payoff is worth all the risks. You, you feel a sense of accomplishment if, if it's a big stunt. Uh, for example, um, last month I did um, a few full body fire burns. And, I mean, that's dangerous, you know, you're putting yourself on fire um, from head to foot. And, um, you know, anything could happen in the respect where, you know, um, you're not getting, something might, not, might happen and you might not get put out fast enough. But when good stunts go bad, they can end in serious injury or death. The, the airbag high fall is, is probably the most dangerous stunt where most stuntmen or women actually die from that one, where they actually, if they hit it wrong, hit the airbag wrong, they can go straight, straight through it or bounce off it and, um, and kill themselves that way. Danger bonds the stunties together. They have to trust each other completely. The difference between a stunt fight looking good or turning nasty is split-second timing. If it's a fight show, then the martial art guys will show the, uh, the other guys how to, how to do particular moves, and then we... Um, bastardise it for TV because obviously, uh, you know, to make it look more spectacular and better, we, um, we throw in all sorts of different styles. Fighting, falling and flying. And when you're not on set, relaxing with the stars. Rodney Cook might have fallen from high, but he's landed on his feet. You get to travel a lot 
and you get to meet some really cool people, some, some great actors. Also, you're, you're a bit of a boy, aren't you, really? You know, you're, you're playing cops and robbers. <laughs> Cowboys and Indians. So that's, you know, that's great. You don't have to grow up, grow up too much. So. But at the end of the day, it's just another job, you know? But um, it's, it's a fun job, you know? It's, it's, it's a different type of stress, you know? But um, if you really enjoyed working, um, you know, then, then hey, it's, it's not really work at all, is it? <laughs> Uh, that's a wrap. <laughs>